How can lack of sexual education affect our intimate relationships? What effect does alcohol have on sexual performance? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Lack of sexual education can affect our intimate relationships by causing misunderstandings, anxieties, and unhealthy practices. It contributes to a lack of communication about desires and boundaries, making it difficult to build satisfying relationships. Comprehensive sexual education is essential to promote sexual health and positive intimate relationships. Alcohol can have negative effects on sexual performance, such as decreasing sexual responsiveness, hindering erection in men, and affecting decision-making regarding safe sex. Moderate consumption is important to avoid issues. In some Amazonian communities in South America, knowledge about medicinal plants and traditional practices used to treat sexual and reproductive health issues, such as infertility and infections, is transmitted. Anorgasmia and masturbation. Masturbation can be a safe and effective way to explore individual sexual response and learn which techniques or stimuli are most effective in inducing orgasm in individuals with anorgasmia. Anorgasmia and performance anxiety. Sexual performance anxiety, fear of failure, or pressure to satisfy the partner can contribute to anorgasmia by interfering with the ability to relax and enjoy the moment. Anorgasmia and relaxation techniques. Learning relaxation techniques, such as deep breathing, meditation, or yoga, can help reduce anxiety and improve the ability to experience orgasms. Anorgasmia and sexual therapy. Sexual therapy is a common treatment option for anorgasmia, as it can help identify and address the underlying causes of the disorder, as well as improve communication and intimacy in the relationship. Antibiotic resistance. Some bacteria that cause STDs, such as gonorrhea, are developing resistance to commonly used antibiotics, making treatment more difficult. In Aboriginal communities in Australia, sex education may be integrated into life education programs addressing a variety of topics, including health, family, and culture. These programs are often tailored to respect the cultural and spiritual perspectives of indigenous communities. Balloon fetishism. In this fetish, individuals find sexual arousal from inflating, touching, or even popping balloons, either in real life or represented. Body confidence. Feeling confident and comfortable in one's body can greatly impact a woman's willingness to experiment with different sexual positions and embrace her sexuality more fully. Breastfeeding fetishism. Some people experience sexual arousal by observing or participating in breastfeeding during sexual activities. This fetish may be related to maternal connection and intimacy of breastfeeding. Care and maintenance. It is important to properly care for sex toys to ensure their safety and durability. This may include regular cleaning with warm water and soap, as well as storing them in a cool, dry place. Changing norms. Social and cultural norms surrounding open relationships are evolving. What was once considered taboo or unacceptable is now more widely accepted in many communities. Co-infection. It is possible to contract more than one STD at the same time, known as co-infection, which can complicate treatment and increase the risk of long-term complications. Comprehensive approach. Addressing STDs requires a comprehensive approach that includes education, prevention, early detection, proper treatment, access to healthcare services, and reducing the stigma associated with these diseases. Congenital syphilis. On the rise. Congenital syphilis, which occurs when an infected pregnant woman transmits the disease to her baby, is on the rise in several countries, highlighting the importance of timely diagnosis and treatment during pregnancy. Continuous exploration. Open relationships can be dynamic and constantly evolving. 
couples may find it helpful to review and adjust their agreements regularly as their desires, needs, and circumstances change. Control favoring positions. For some women, maintaining control during sexual activity is important, so they prefer positions where they can direct the pace and depth of penetration, such as cowgirl or modified missionary. Courses and workshops. Practical courses and workshops based on the Kama Sutra are offered, where couples can learn new sexual techniques and positions under the guidance of experts in the field. Creativity and experimentation. Foreplay is an opportunity to be creative and experiment with new techniques and sex toys that can enhance arousal and pleasure. From silk handcuffs to soft feathers, there is a wide range of options to explore. Cultural differences. The perception of what constitutes premature ejaculation may vary depending on culture and social norms. What is considered a problem in one culture may be accepted as normal in another. Customization. Many sex toy manufacturers offer the option to customize products according to customer preferences, including colors, shapes, and specific functions. Depth of penetration. Some women prefer positions that allow for deeper penetration, such as missionary with legs raised or spooning, as they can experience a greater sense of fullness and stimulation. Distraction. Techniques. Some men use distraction techniques, such as thinking about something unrelated to sex, to delay ejaculation and prolong pleasure during sexual intercourse. Diversity of sexual practices. Sexual practices vary widely among people and cultures, and what works for one couple may not be suitable for another. Open communication and mutual exploration are key to a satisfying sex life. Dual stimulation positions. Some women enjoy positions that stimulate both the clitoris and vagina simultaneously, such as 69 or missionary with manual stimulation. Effects on relationship. Excessive pornography consumption can affect relationships, as some studies suggest it may decrease sexual satisfaction and emotional intimacy. Emotional commitment. Although open relationships are often associated with fulfilling sexual desires, many couples also experience deep emotional commitment and intimate connection within this type of arrangement. Erectile dysfunction and acupuncture. Some studies suggest that acupuncture may be beneficial for treating erectile dysfunction by improving blood flow to the penis and reducing anxiety related to sexual performance. Erectile dysfunction and diet. A diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and healthy fats can help prevent erectile dysfunction by promoting cardiovascular health and improving blood circulation. Erectile dysfunction and masturbation. Masturbation does not cause erectile dysfunction, and in fact, it can be a useful way for men to maintain sexual health and erectile function. Erectile dysfunction and orgasm. Although men with erectile dysfunction may have difficulty achieving or maintaining an erection, they can still experience orgasms, as erection and orgasm are separate processes. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality,